Well, the design of treatment, especially when ITP is first diagnosed, is to raise the platelet count and reduce the bleeding symptoms that are associated with ITP. So for treatment of ITP, we tend to think of our therapies as either frontline therapies or second-line therapies. And the frontline therapies include medicines like steroids. Uh, steroids, not the muscle-building steroids, but the kind of steroids that reduce inflammation and suppress the immune system. So prednisone is a good example of a steroid medicine that's been used for a long time to treat ITP in children and adults. Well, other frontline treatments include immune globulins like IVIG or Winro, and these medicines act to protect the body from destroying the, the platelets prematurely. We think that IVIG and Winro work by, by coating the spleen, which is a primary site for the destruction of the platelets. If we take out the spleen, then we've lost the major site of destruction for most patients. And in about two-thirds of patients, that's actually quite effective. The problem, of course, is that when you do any suppression of the immune system, it's a general immune suppression. So for example, if someone's on prednisone, they're more likely to develop certain types of infections.